So this Christian dude is swearing to me up and down that the Bible is perfect. There's no errors in it. It's historically accurate. There's nothing in it that contradicts itself. And he wants me to give him an example of a contradiction. Now normally I don't even get into this stuff when we're talking about Christianity. I usually just stick to the whole ridiculousness of the magic listed in the Bible, you know, walking on water, dead people coming back to life, all that kind of stuff. Because, I mean, that's enough for me to go, yeah, it's just fiction, ridiculous. But, dude, if, if you want an example of a contradiction in the Bible, I'll give you one. There's a zillion, I'll give you uh, one right off the top of my head. Um... It says in the book of Matthew that right before Jesus was uh, started this whole beating, torture session, that um, this garrison uh, of Romans like took him and they stripped his clothes off and they put a, um, a scarlet robe on him. That's right before the crown of thorns. Yeah, that's in uh, Matthew. Now, in the book of John... They say they put a purple robe on him. Okay, now scarlet is red and purple is purple. Now, I know some Christian apologists say, well, it was probably a, a blend of the two colors. Or maybe where he was standing, the way the light hit, it looked more one color than the other or whatever. But the book of Revelations supposedly was written by John, the same guy that wrote the book of John, okay? And in Revelation 17, verse 4, I'm going to read it. It says, uh, The woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet and adorned with gold and precious stones. Anyways, John here says she's in purple and scarlet. So obviously John knows the difference between the colors of purple and scarlet, right? For him to say that. Well, when he wrote his description of Jesus' robe, he said it was purple. So I think if the same dude wrote both books, then you know, he knows the difference between purple and scarlet. Now, Matthew says it was scarlet. Now, it's pretty clear to me that something's wrong here, all right? And it wasn't a blend because John didn't say it was a blend. He said it was purple. Okay, so anyways, I have a unabridged concordance. I've looked up the original Greek words for purple and scarlet, and it's the same it's the same Greek word used for purple in the book of John as in the book of Revelation. So, you know. It's just a contradiction, man. You know, they made up half this stuff. So anyways, there it is. Uh, what do you think?